Sam, send Callow the nav point provided by our Krogan contact. Drac, we're landing on Elodin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. On my way. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. I will gather what information I can, Pathfinder. Who lives here besides the Krogan? Scavengers with nothing to lose. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Gonna be interesting. Ania runs this place. I don't know her, but I've heard things. My people consider Eladin uninhabitable, but she manages to make a life here, somehow. I detect above normal temperatures. You want to survive, or you want to score big? <laughs> hey you, looking to join? Wade, you're Nexus. What the hell do you want? What are you recruiting for? The Drifters. Meanest, richest gang on Eladin, led by Big Tehran himself. We got a base, plenty of guns, and the best scrap sites this side of Ataraxia. You ever get on the Initiative's bad side, you should join up. Tell him Twig sent you. Your name is Twig? It's the name they gave me when I joined up. We all get one. They saw me use my biotics to snap a Solarian's back. Like a Twig, they said. So now they use me for recruiting. I show off my powers, and the scavengers come running for protection. Works like a charm. Do all the scavengers here form gangs? The smart ones do. Elodin is a rough place. You don't survive unless you group up. There's always a few tough guys who think they can go it alone. They don't last long. After a couple of weeks on the dunes, they either come crawling back or they bite the dust. This leader of yours sounds like a big deal. Big Terran is the deadliest guy on Elodin. I heard he killed two Krogan with his bare hands. Two Krogan? Really? That's what he said. Well, it's what I heard he said. I've never actually met Big Terran. He stays pretty secluded, says every gang leader on the dunes wants him dead. Most of us don't even know what he looks like. Here's hoping I don't run into you guys out there. Here's hoping you do. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. The second we're out I on detect the dunes, above normal you're temperatures. Dead. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Stealing the next shuttle out of here. Get out of my face! I swear I'll kill you. I'll kill you first. He's not lying. Saw him kill a girl over Modi Ration. Shit, don't draw her any attention. Can't let them see me. What are you doing? Sneaking onto the next ship out of here. 
getting off this hellhole. Paid a smuggler on Kadara to wait for me. All I need to do is get to him. They haven't seen me yet. Think I'll make it this time. Just need to be quick enough. I should tell the people in charge about this. This is Eladin. No people in charge. Maybe I lose water privileges, but it's worth it. If I try to leave, I might die. If I stay, I definitely die. No coming back from what I did. What happened? Piss off the wrong person? Followed a gang leader near Ataraxia called Little Mouse. Seemed like a nice kid, till he started taking slaves. Didn't agree with it, so I freed every one of them. Now his people are after me. No running from Little Mouse. Not unless I get off Eladin. You did a good thing. The Tempest can take you where you need to go. Thanks, but the smuggler won't deal with me if he sees a Nexus ship. Gotta sneak out of here and get to Kadara. Only way to escape Little Mouse. I... guess I'll leave you to it. Yes, back away. You didn't see me. are water towers. The colony here gets all its supply from Aenea. What are you looking at? To be honest, I'm curious about what's going on here. What's going on is none of your damn business. Keep walking, or I'm gonna shoot out your knees. I thought the rule was no guns. That won't protect you outside the gates. If you see me there, you better run. Pathfinder, is it necessary to engage with this individual? I don't see how it helps our cause. Right. Let's just back away slowly, guys. But you are having such a stimulating conversation. Ryder, I heard that little... exchange. I don't understand it. They screened every initiative applicant. How did so many of them end up violent and unstable? You think something's up? That's what I want to find out. Can you scan the scavengers here in the Paradise and transmit the data to me? And, you know, be discreet. Wow. Be careful around that one, Ryder. Excellent. Scrap will be my ticket out of here. You just watch. What are you looking at? Interesting. Almost broke. Hey, I recognize your insignia. Your Nexus, right? A Pathfinder. Kent Halsey, Nexus Security. Must be a reason you're here. Is there a problem? Not with the Nexus. This is a personal matter. My sister Isabel fell in with the wrong people. She joined the rebellion and was exiled to Kadara. Somehow, she pissed off enough people to end up in this hellhole. Your security and your sister's a troublemaker. Puts you in an awkward situation. I don't care about that. I'm here to find her. I know she can't come back to the Nexus, but we can start over on Kadara, together. You'd give up your life for her? Izzy's the only family I have. I'd do anything for her. The problem is, I underestimated this planet. I don't have a vehicle or a way to survive the heat. I'm stuck before I've even started. Don't worry. I can track Isabel down for you. I hoped you'd say that. I think the salvager from Kadara has info on her. She wouldn't give me anything, but maybe you can get her talking. Water is the most valuable commodity on Eladin, and Aenea has all of it. Oh, this is ridiculous. What? This is water. It costs as much as two shots of good whiskey on the Presidium. It's just bloody water. Do 
If you're here for water, you'll need to speak with Aenea first. You cut the deal with her, she gives you a chit, and I dispense the water. You can take your entire allotment at once, or in portions. Up to you. Where does this water come from? <laughs> I believe that's a trade secret. I don't even know where she gets it. At first I thought she traded with Kadara, but that can't be it. It's impossible for all this volume to be from Kadara. Is all this water for sale? Some of the supply goes to the trading post, of course, but yes, most of it's for sale. Anyone who wants water on Elodon has to come here. There is very little elsewhere on the planet. Seems odd to place the water tank so close to that gaping chasm. Someone once told me Aenea does it as a security measure. She empties the tanks into the gorge if anyone tries to steal the water. I've never seen it happen myself, but others have. Can you imagine? What a waste. I'll let you get on with your work. Have a lovely day. Get out of my face. Gaul, and you and me, that means something. You're right, Betja. Just need the colony on our side. Are you Jorgal Strux? Maybe. You who I think you are? Scott Ryder, Pathfinder for the Initiative. You asked me to meet you here? Yeah, I did. Thanks for coming. Losing the Krogan was a big deal to a lot of us in the Initiative. Some of my best friends are Krogan. That's right. I didn't want to leave the Nexus, but I needed to support my people and my clan. So, there's problems at the colony. It's heading to a bad place. We can't be there anymore. Morda's become a tyrant. Did she kick you out? It hasn't come to that yet, so we're laying low. I want to keep my eye on her. She's planning a strike against the Nexus, that much we know. Drak trusts Morda, and I trust Drak. Hearn, Morda's leading the colony for a reason. She's tough, but that's good. You're not there, Drak. Morda is going to rip this colony apart. And then we're all going to die. Krogan dying? Really? Everyone needs food and water, even Krogan. Morda's rationing. My group thinks the Krogan should make peace with the Nexus. We need the Krogan, and the Krogan need us. We all came to Andromeda as one. We should at least try to fix this. Well, there won't be a colony to make peace with if Morda ruins it. You don't believe me? Go to the Krogan colony yourself and see what she's planning. Talk to Ravenar Brink. He's one of us, on the inside. If the safety of the Nexus is really on the line, I'll go. Better hope she doesn't shoot me on sight. Yeah, that'd be a bad omen. I'm supposed to get the next seat off this planet. I have credits. I need to get back to the Nexus. They're waking up my husband. I need to be there. How about salvage from that big alien ship? I got lots. Name your price. Seriously, I found some valuable stuff outside that ship. Don't block the traffic. Please. Yeah? Can't you see I'm busy? With what? <sighs> Coordinating shipments. What's it look like? Even on a wasteland, trade is king. 
How did you come to be in Elodin? Short version, after the uprising, I found myself in Kadara. Hated it. Met Ania at the bar, and she offered me this job. Really didn't have anything to lose. Why did you hate Kadara? Politics, backstabbing. I'm a simple guy. If someone's gonna knife me, I'd rather it be in the front. The folks on Elodin excel at that. What shipments do you get? Anything you can name. On Elodin, everything has a price. Food, water, meds, clothing. Somebody's probably willing to pay for it. How often do shipments come in? They come in when they come in. We don't exactly live according to a schedule. Why don't the scavengers attack the docks? Because they've learned that they need Aenea. Without her influence, they're all dead. Someone steps out of line, Aenea deals with it. Or the other scavs do. Sounds like a delicate balance. Delicate? Hardly. It's a system kept in check by large guns and high-velocity rounds. What else can you tell me about Aenea? I once saw Aenea shoot a visor off a scab from 50 yards off. Which is why I make it a policy never to talk about her behind her back. You want to know about Aenea? You talk to Aenea. I'll leave you to it. Good. Be on your way and try not to piss anyone off. Get this on the next boat to Gadara. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. So, Elodin. Charming so far. What do we got? Besides the sand. The remnant monolith suggests this was indeed supposed to be a golden world. It also suggests the presence of a vault. Additionally, here is the large derelict remnant ship that we saw as we landed. Hopefully abandoned? Scans indicate it is not. The site is active with scavengers and remnant bots. Here, scavengers have taken over an abandoned camp between the two. In this direction, located in one of the planet's sinkholes, is New Tachanka, the Krogan colony. Sinkholes? Sounds fun. Not really. Elodin is tidily locked to its sister moon and that gas giant above. This side of the moon never cools. Getting trapped in a sinkhole without shelter would mean certain death, as one's blood would boil in 75 seconds. And on that cheery note, let's head for the climate-controlled paradise of the Nomad. Hear Vandros try to shoot one of those big worm things. Yeah, what happened? The thing's invincible, isn't it? Crushed him like a fly and kept moving. Barely even noticed him. That many siblings common to you guys? We have large families. 
Strength in numbers. Yeah, Krogan used to run that show. Careful. I didn't do it. Didn't do nothing. Okay, you didn't do anything. Good. Tell them that when they come. Weird. Excellent. Gonna get a better gun and take them all down. Nerys got a hold of those creepy alien pillars. Yeah, pulled the whole thing apart. Wish I got in on that deal. Next time, I'll claim one. Did I hear you talking about the Remnant? Dunno. You and Eve's dropping snake. Been breaking it down to sell. Could make a killing from the pieces. Uh, Ryder? You should check that out. This scrap will be my ticket out of here. You just watch. Axius and his gang think they're tough. Gonna rip them apart. Hey, hey! Welcome, welcome. Come this way. Follow me. That's a fancy ship, all right. You'll find lots of deals inside. Just talk to my boss. Come on, this way. This is a special place. <laughs> Holstered. This way. Come inside. There's a bunch of low-life scavengers inside. But don't worry. Sure, beyond these walls they'll shoot you on sight, but you're safe here. It's a fair exchange. Why? Because you say it is? Partly. I wouldn't be in business if I wasn't fair. If you don't think so, go trade somewhere else. Okay. I will. You're Ania. That's right. You've heard of me. Word gets round. You thrive on Eladin, which is supposed to be uninhabitable. True. I have made something of a paradise here. No fighting, no violence. Outside the gates, you're on your own. But in here... You're safe. Anyone violates the peace, they have to answer to me. Being able to maintain control here must be difficult. These people need me. They need what I sell, so they behave or they're out. Now what can I get you? How can I help? Just let me know. You have a pretty good attitude for a place like this. I've got nothing to complain about. I'm rich and no one messes with me. Most powerful woman on Elodin. Yeah? I don't mean to brag, but absolutely. What else is here? I'm a businesswoman, not a tour guide, but I'll tell you what I know if it suits me. What can you tell me about that derelict ship? Ah, oh, you came here to get killed, did you? Scavengers are trying to pull it apart, is all I know. I don't go near their claims. They shoot on sight. Who lives on this planet? Desperate folks, mostly. Misfits, some. Those that can't get along in the regular world. Or people willing to make a profit off that desperation. Like you? Careful, sweetheart. You want to keep me on your good side. There's a place they call the Flop House, Eastish of here. Den of murder and misery. You should pay it a call. You get along with the Krogan? Everyone comes to Elodin with the dream of leaving, except me and the Krogan. They built their colony into a sinkhole. Smart. Keeps it cool enough for them, I guess. They have their own water? Unfortunately for them, no. But Mordor and I get along well, so far. What can I buy? I don't know. What do you have to trade? Mostly I sell water, but you should go out to the tanks if you want that. Is there anywhere else on the planet to, I don't know, find water? Not really. And if I don't like the look of you or you get on my bad side, then no water for you.
Nice studs. Better watch your back. There's probably already a dozen people planning to kill you for them. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Just trying to help. So, what else can I do for you? Where do you live? Where do you sleep? There's a flop house not far from here. There's always shelter. Maybe even a bed, if someone died that day. You know a Krogan named Strux? Nope. But Krogan are hard to miss. Look around. What do you do on this planet? Why are you here? Why? Trying to find out where my claim is? No, relax. I do the same as anyone else here. Try not to get killed. We're done. Suit yourself. Step off. Not allowed back here. New armor. Well-maintained weapons. I take it you're not one of the locals. You've been trained to spot this. One of the reasons Ania hired me. I know whose good side to get on. What's your boss like? She gave me a job and a place to live. I'm grateful to her for that. But... She's not easy on your kind. I've seen her deny them water based on nothing but her mood. She didn't live on Kadara like I did. All she's seen is the exiles on Elodin. It's enough to turn anyone against outsiders. But I don't like seeing people suffer. Even exiles. So you work for the water merchant? I design the filtration systems. Now I keep them from breaking down in the heat. You're an engineer? Of sorts. On Kadara, I designed defense systems for the settlements. Specialized in hidden traps to use in the dark. <laughs> I can't continue that work here. Why? The sun never goes down on Elodin. No nighttime. Just constant blazing daylight. It's why the Paradise does so well. Water isn't the only commodity. We have shade. How'd you end up here? Same as anyone. I was desperate. Ran up a debt on Kadara and needed to escape. I have to say life isn't bad here. I moved between the Paradise and New Tachanka, keeping the water tanks running. Sometimes I even go to the flop house to buy extra parts from the scavengers. They respect me there. Still, I miss the exciting stuff. Felt like I was making a difference when I built defense systems. If you want to make a difference again, the Resistance needs recruits on Vold. The Resistance? It's a nice thought, but I doubt they'd take a low life like me. With your skills, Ephra will welcome you. We don't turn away those who want to fight. You're a member. Jal's right. Vold needs an engineer who can work in harsh conditions. <laughs> harsh conditions. That's me. Vold, huh? Guess it'd be a change from all this sand. All right, fine. I'll check out the camp, see what I can do. Well, well, look at you. I'm good at reading people. Want me to guess who you are? Shoot. A Pathfinder. Impressive. How'd you know? I cheated. I run salvage to Kadara. Word travels fast there. Should hear what the Collective is saying about you. I take it you're a member. I don't take sides. That way when a fight breaks out, I always win. You must deal with the scavengers a lot. No more than I have to. Slavery, cannibalism, gang leader worship. It's enough to make my skin crawl. I plan to keep my distance. Smart. But it's not just the gang leaders. The ones in the Paradise are dangerous, too. This is supposed to be a neutral zone, but I don't trust the scavengers to follow the rules. You said you run salvage to Kadara. How does that work? The scavengers come from Hell's Promise to sell me their scraps. I pay them next to nothing. Charming. Then what? I haul my loot to Kadara and sell to the merchants. Sloane takes her cut, naturally, but mostly I make a killing. Sometimes I even buy water from Aenea and sell it at a premium in the flop house. It's a solid life. If you say so. What's your take on Elodin? If the worm or the gang leaders don't kill you, the heat in Ataraxia will. I don't know how anyone can live here. 
Somehow they make it work. Barely. At least once a trip, an escaped slave or ex-cultist tries to bribe me for a ride out of here. Except the Krogan. I've seen new Tachanka. We'd all be lucky to have a setup like theirs. Got info on someone named Isabel Halsey? What am I? Your personal database? You have info. I want it. Talk. I don't know anything. I only heard her name mentioned. A group came through here to sell me that day's salvage. They said something like, Isabel's time is limited. Is that it? I don't get caught up in scavenger business. Bad for longevity. But if you want to find these guys, I have their nav point. Here. Ever worked with a guy named Reyes? Reyes? He's one of my buyers, actually. You know him? We've met. I'm not surprised. Reyes knows everyone. Some a little too well. Take it easy. Always do. I'm gonna mess you up when we get out of here. Yeah? You mess me up, you're never seeing those star charts again. What? I have my star charts right here. I'm gonna peel your skin off and feed it to you. And I hid those charts. You kill me, no chance you're leaving this hellscape. And I'm gonna kill you right here. I just told you I have your map. You're way off this planet. How are you so stupid? Thanks, Ryder. That should be enough. I'll analyze this and let you know what I find. I've analyzed the scans you sent me. I found something odd. Each scavenger's neurons were firing at an abnormal rhythm. What does that mean? It's only a theory, but I think some people are more susceptible to complications that can happen during the cryo process. Their neural paths were altered in cryo sleep. It's not curable, but I've developed a serum that should subdue the symptoms. I left it at the Paradise. When you pick it up, I'll tell you what to do. I'd like to test the serum on a live subject, but we need a good candidate. Scan the scavengers at the Paradise again. I'll tell you when I see a potential. I detect above normal temperatures. You touch my salvage, you the die. The ambient temperature is normal. Circuit. Yeah? Think you can win? They don't know my crawler has guns. Works to my advantage. Wish that goddamn sun would just go away. There. He's perfect. You'll need his permission to administer the serum. We won't force it on him. You sure this is safe? It's no more dangerous than your usual stunts. Uh, hey there. Don't know what they told you. I don't have nothing. I just want to give you this medicine. It might make you feel better. Feel better? 
Haven't felt this good in years. I don't want your blasted medicine. Your mind regressed in cryo. This will bring you back. Bring me back to what? Scraping and bowing to the initiative? For the first time in my life, I'm free. And damn, it feels great. Just leave me alone. Leave all of us alone. We're happy just how we are. What if your brain decays more? You can't live like this. Just take the serum. And if I say no? I won't make you. But you'd be making a big mistake. You're a pain in my ass. Fine. Give me the stupid thing. Finally. I take it. You leave me alone. Now shove off. Not the first patient I've had who resisted treatment. Are they really happy this way? It's their sickness talking. Is it? I wonder. I'll monitor his progress and send you my findings. Thanks, Ryder. Took your stupid medicine. Got nothing to say now. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. There will be scavengers ahead, if the sun didn't get them first. This one died before we arrived. Pathfinder, you may wish to scan the body for information. Pathfinder, this outlaw died from a highly infectious disease. We can't let this spread to our people. Can we find the source? Possibly, if I receive more data. Avoid the sinkholes! the cat we had solarians there's always someone thinking they're better than you i don't know many solarians but they seem nothing like the cat you're right you don't know many solarians writer are those scavengers dismantling the remnant tech 
That a problem? It is if they get their hands on a remnant core. It could become unstable and attract the Scourge. How do we stop it? Beats me. Pathfinder, I could modify your Omni tool to disable the cores and prevent them from reacting. Do it. Let's go fix this. structure on the horizon. Pathfinder, I detect scavenger interference at additional remnant sites. They never make it easy for me. Let's go to those other sites. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Drac, why would anyone near the end of their life take a chance joining the initiative? Why would anyone at the start of theirs join up with strangers like us? Besides, who says I'm old? Who says I'm dying? I don't think I said that. You did. I'm certain I didn't. 
now you're saying I'm deaf. Right, uh... Nope, not getting involved. Hey, you're not wrong, Chow. I am old, but I got a lot of living left. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Feels good to be on solid ground again. You don't feel exposed? The cat are everywhere. I'd rather face them down here than stuck in a can up there. Pathfinder, this technology was built by the scavengers. So, Morda's still pissed off at the Nexus. You'll want to be careful around her, kid. It's amazing they managed to set up any kind of working colony on this hellscape. Amazing or crazy? And the Krogan seem to be a bit of both. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support restored. There's a data pad here. This sounds like trouble already. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. New Tachanka coming up. I detect above normal temperatures. I'm leaving. No way this colony will make it. Come on, you have nowhere to go. Heard Sloan and Kadara is hiring.
Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Move along. No outsiders. He's with me. Human Pathfinder. Drac. It's been a while. Jorgel Strux sent me. I'm supposed to talk with Morda. So now Strux is friends with the Nexus. Traitor. Think I'm a traitor too? Shut it, Breck. I'm not here to step on any toes. I can help you guys out. You assume we need help. Hey, you guys did your job. Now stand down and let them in. But Drag, didn't I tell you to shut up? I'll spread the word so Morda knows you're here. Good. Life support at 100%. Pathfinder must think he's pretty tough to just roll in here. I wonder how long he'd last in a real fight. They're testing you. Seeing if you'll take the bait. Huh. Saw the worm out there again. That thing is huge. Bigger than a thresh maw, isn't it? Make a good rite of passage. Soft, squishy human like you should probably steer clear of the wildlife out there. You said something about a worm? Not a worm. The worm. Huge. Invincible. You can't miss it. It pops out of the dunes from time to time. Plows down everything in its path. Do I have to worry about it attacking? As far as we can tell, it doesn't care about us one way or the other. Just stay out of its way. It'll barrel right through you, tear you to pieces. Thanks for the heads up. If you head out worm hunting, let me know. I'll plan your funeral. <laughs> it was an accident. The terminal with Dr. O'Kear's data was right next to the scrubbed ones. Don't worry, Dr. Gunnar. I'll track it down. Uh, hello. I, I noticed you were listening. Uh, is it because you're a fan of the Krogan genius, Dr. O'Kear? I'm frantic because a terminal with all his research was accidentally sold to a junker. Um, no. Maybe? What was on it? His work regarding Krogan physiology and the genophage was advanced. I was his protege. Or, I was acquainted with his protege. <laughs> anyway, it's encrypted. But it would be bad if it fell into the wrong hands. I can give you a nav point and the name of the scavenger I accidentally sold it to. You talk about Dr. O'Kear like I should know who that is. Dr. O'Kear was on the leading edge of Krogan genetics and possibly curing the genophage. And not using the slow genetic mutation approach the initiative has invested in. I have, I had a collection of his research. I hope to cure the genophage in the colony. Send me the nav point and the terminal identification. Done. I hope it's still on the planet. The Junker was aggressive. She'll run this place into the ground. Bad karma naming it New Tachanka. Should track down a fiend later. It's been ages since I had a good fight. Been out of the Sea of Ataraxia? Pretty wild out there. 
They'll kill you for a tire if it's the right size. Just scavs being scavs. We ought to check it out, actually. See if we can get in on the action. I'd rather stay here, thanks. You call yourself Krogan? Better to live for myself than to see this place go the same way as Tachanka. Don't be stupid. Morta will find her way. You hear Garak and his team tried to fight the worm? Epic battle. Got in a few good shots before it killed a lot of them. Dumb bastards. Always had more quads than brains. You Ravenor Brank? Struck sent me. He said Pain. that you... Yes. Find me later near the fighting pit. Hey, Nexus. I'm the one you talk to around here. Are you Morda? I'm Nakmar Morda, overlord of the Krogan in Helios. Overlord? Drac, Kesh said you had a new job. She didn't tell me you did. And you're the celebrated Pathfinder from the Hyperion, found at last. I'm Ryder. This is thrilling. I've never stood so close to a Pathfinder before. Mostly because the Krogan never got one. Welcome to New Tachanka. I understand you and your people are pissed off. Humans were welcomed into the Citadel Council with open arms, while the Krogan endured centuries of oppression. You have no idea. Your understanding only makes me mad. Okay, gotcha. Loud and clear. Why are you here, Pathfinder? To see what a successful colony looks like. Our outposts are new. We could use the advice. Your manipulation is so transparent. No advice for you. Only regret. Watch. The Krogan will thrive and the initiative will pay. Get out of my face before I smash it. A pleasure catching up with the new Krogan hierarchy. See you soon. Lord is a hard ass, but that surprised even me. Not good. Yeah. Maybe. She's plainly said the Nexus will pay. Let's talk to Brank before we freak out. Another leak? Damn, Exile scraps won't hold together for more than a week. And look, those mushrooms are back. Drac, you old wreck. Swing by when you ain't so busy playing hero. We'll catch up. Sure thing, Grot. I have stories, let me tell you. Right here, this is Grot, an old friend. Practically built this whole place. Don't let the fact that he's hurt not bother you. We can't help it. What do you think of the colony? Pretty great, huh? When you said colony, I didn't think you meant this. Why didn't you tell me, Drac? Wasn't sure about you at first. Had to take some precautions. It's... rustic. That's what we're going for. Rustic. I'm guessing you have questions. The plants here. Where'd they come from? Ever since the clan got here, Warren and his assistant have been working hard on the greenhouse. We built him and Hark some pretty fancy digs. Lights and everything. New to Chunga's plants grow way better than the ones back home. Way less radiation. How long has the colony been here? Since we left the Nexus. After the mutiny. Just like that? Leave the Nexus, start a colony? We're Krogan, kid. We can live anywhere. Could have parked our tails on a volcano and handled it just fine. There's a lot of prefab materials here. And shuttles. 
Some of it was gear we had stored away on the Nexus. The rest we sort of stole when we left, not like anyone was gonna stop us. How do you know Drat? We mined together back when our quads had barely dropped. Now I just can't seem to get rid of them. You seem at home here, Drac. And you're not getting any younger. Ever think of retiring? The day you dig my grave, old-timer. Sad honor that'll be. I'll talk to you later. I don't sell Rincol to humans. Matter of principle. What's Rincol? Krogan alcohol. Like drinking a live grenade. I distill it myself. Strongest in the galaxy. That's impressive. Not really. I'm the only distiller in the galaxy. Remind me to stock up. What do you have against selling Rincol to humans? Spend too much time babysitting humans who think they can stomach it. Fact is, you can't. Maybe it won't kill you, but it'll leave me a mess to clean up. I bet I could handle it. Typical. What made you pick up and come to Helios? I was sick of living on a dead planet, watching my people tear each other apart. Hitching a ride on the Nexus was a chance to start over. But you left the Nexus. And built this. Best decision the Krogan ever made. Just wish it was on better terms. Not wise to burn bridges out here. What's it like living out here? It's no paradise, but it's easier than Tachanka. Back home, stepping outside during a nuclear wind could tear the plate from your skull. What was it like traveling on the Nexus? Don't know. I remember Solarians packing us into cryo. Some of us needed a double hit to fall asleep. Then, nothing. Suddenly, we were here. You want to know more, ask Varric. Says he woke up mid-journey and lived 50 years alone on the Nexus. He has to be lying. Probably. Good story, though. That's all for now. Back to it. Varka, listen to yourself. I know what I saw. Did that worm think I wouldn't notice? It's my squad, not Gren's, and I'll be damned if I let them take orders from him. What do you want me to do? Handle it, Cortic, or I will. Half the time, I feel like I'm the only one holding this colony together. Trouble? Varka and Gren fought together back home, side by side, but always in competition. Made them stronger. Now they have no enemies to fight, so they're fighting each other. I can see the tension building. Colonists taking sides. This is how clan wars start. A divided colony will never survive out here. Which is why we need to act fast. Best way to stop this feud is to perform a rite of union. Which is? Shove them into a ring with a beast. Make them fight as a team. Defeating a common foe creates a powerful bond. Krogan, don't take that lightly. Help me perform the rite, and we can hold this colony together. You really think Varka and Gren could cause a war? Big problems can start out small. Not taking any chances. How am I supposed to help with the right? For one, they need something to fight. I hope you don't mean me. <laughs> no. But I do need you to help me drive a beast into the arena. Shamans make a special lure for this. Should help subdue it. I'll do whatever I can to help. Good. Set this lure out in the wild to attract a fiend. The beast might be feisty at first, so stay on your toes. I'll keep Varka and Gren from each other's throats till you get back. Good luck.
Ran into some of those scavengers on patrol. That's where your gas came from? Don't tell anyone a human gave me this. Another leak? Damn, Exile scraps won't hold together for more than a week. And look, those mushrooms are back. Let him ship off to Kadara? What were you thinking? It was his choice. No, his life isn't the only one affected. Now, here's the same person who actually knows about Kadara. Let's ask him. I can try. He's my son, Nera. She let my only son fly to that hellhole. If Arkal wants to be a heavy for some Kadara slime ball, he can. I wasn't going to stop him. He'll be treated like an expendable attack dog, and he'll die, and his death will be on your hands. Or he's using them to make a bunch of credits so we can live easier. Do you want me to find this Arcal for you? No. I'll track him down myself. It's best if you don't get involved. But thank you. Just let it go, Ryder. This is a broken matter. They'll figure it out. But... but she asked me. You asked me. Sheesh. This time, things will be different. Just rejecting the order now. You must be the Pathfinder. That's me. How's research going? Slowly. We're fine on Elodin, but plants aren't. They need a better defense against the elements. I want to experiment by crossing vegetation with the native animal life on Elodin. I think that might be a bad idea. So does Vorn. Says he doesn't want to create another Tachanka. I guess there's a chance of breeding carnivorous plants like the ones back home. But it's worth the risk. What do you do at the colony? Botany. Sort of. I'm Vorn's apprentice. He's the real genius with plants. Know anything about those crazy plants out on the dunes? The red ones? Well, there used to be a lot more of them. What do you mean? You see all those red banners outside? The red paint on the walls? Yeah? The crushed leaves make a perfect dye. Other than that, not much use. Pretty to look at, though. I'll leave you to your work. At least the scavengers haven't attacked us yet. Even the most reckless human isn't going to attack a Krogan outpost. Give it time. Once they get desperate, they'll do anything. Sorry, Pathfinder. No outsiders in the family quarters. yourself up for disappointment. Don't talk like that. Hey, Nexus, back me up. The initiative did cure the genophage like they promised, right? Not a cure. They've made some good progress. Barely. There's no point in getting our hopes up. It's our duty to populate the colony with strong Natmore offspring. Am I right? Have you tried having kids before? Of course. Before the journey, and after, and <laughs> often, 
We just need to keep trying. Doesn't hurt to try. It's easy for you to say. Your children don't die in their eggs. This is a new life for the Krogan. Anything can happen. Pathfinder's right. We're starting over. We've actually got a shot at having a kid now. Let's continue this discussion later. Ignore Team Rinko. My heart's blood threshers. That's much better. You know, I got that Adi myself. Knocked it out, shackled it, and shoved it in my shuttle. You gotta say, trying to pilot with that thing growling behind you? Not my idea of fun. Team Rincall, make a bet on Rincall. Hey, what a bet on Team Rincall? Come on, what do you say? Sounds good. I'll bet on Rincall. Nexus, how about you? Aladdin ain't a place for wimps, but it's kicking your human ass. Yeah, ha! <laughs> no thresher maws on Earth to practice on. I do okay. I'd like to see it. Next time we go out looking for fiends, we'll take you. Fiends? Yeah, they're tough. How about we find an architect? Throw that in the mix. Now we're talking. Might kill us. But that sounds fun. You're okay, Nexus. You can't buy a ticket now. Fight's not over yet. The trick to capturing Adi is lots of grenades. They're not needed. Just enough to daze him. Blow them up too quickly and you have to find another and start over. I don't know what happened. We always win. Tough luck. I once saw a fight between those things that lasted a week. A week. Been too long since I had to use a rifle. Ravenor Brank. Quiet. Anyone tells Morda I'm talking to you and I'm kicked out. Last thing I want to do is jeopardize the Nexus or this colony. Me neither. Or Clan Ravenor. Or Clan Jorgo. Or Clan Erdnot. Some in Clan Nakmor, too. Okay, got it. Did you see the crashed ship as you landed? Morda's after the Drive Corps. That's remnant tech. Can Krogan use that? What are you talking about? She's building a bomb. With a drive core as a power source? Sam? Dangerous to those handling it, but in the end, very possible. Demolition teams have been busting down walls for months, battling those robots and scavengers. Lots here want peace with the Nexus. If Morda gets that drive core, boom, it's over. Now get away from me. Thanks, Rick.
Morda's planning an expedition to that derelict out in the wastes. You signing up? If there's a need for fighters, gotta be honest, that remnant stuff's creepy. Ah, uh, grow a quad. It's not like they're geth. Now you know. Should have known Morda would take over. She'll run this place into the ground. Bad karma naming it New Tachanka. I'd love to take down the worm. Don't be stupid. It's invincible. Did that ever stop me before? So you're the human Pathfinder. You look different from the pictures I saw. You probably saw pictures of my dad. Your dad? You replaced him as Pathfinder? It's a long story. Haven't really kept up with Nexus news. Enough trouble to occupy me here. Scavengers? Amongst other things. You seen the Flophouse yet? That's where they get together. 80% shacks, 100% trouble. I'll give you the nav point so you can avoid it. Or not, as you choose. Tell me more about the Flophouse. It's a loose collection of shelters where some scavenger gangs gather. They knock each other around, drink, and then when they're all riled up, run raids. And if you get close when they're hungry, well, that's how I lost a liver and gained a limp. Have you had much trouble with scavengers in the colony? Not yet. They're not that stupid. A bunch of squishies against a hundred odd Krogan? Give it a little time. Resources run low, they'll get desperate, and who knows? Thanks. This information will come in handy. Just trying to help. Be careful out there, Pathfinder. Should have known Morda would take over. She'll run this place into the ground. Back but the scavengers are roasting out there. Went out hunting worm the other day. Almost got me. <laughs> We're lucky it's not after our skins. It's worse than a thresher maw. Better to live for myself than to see this place go the same way as Tachanka. Don't be stupid. Morda will find her way. about the Nexus wanting us back? <laughs> so the Squishies finally realize they're screwed out here. Well, it's gonna take a lot more than oops, my bad, to scratch out what they did. Pathfinder, when you travel, do you meet many Angara? Sometimes. Have you met one named Lietta? I don't think so. Why? She was a salvager, made runs to Elidin all the time. When she landed, she would always stop here first. We climbed the dunes together, took in the view, talked for hours. Lietta had a hard time in this heat, so I said I'd make her a cryo bracelet. I bet she appreciated that. I never got the chance to give it to her. 
One day she just stopped coming. I don't know where she is, if I'll ever see her again. Tell me more about Lieta. She's adventurous, optimistic. Her jokes could make a Krogan blush. In a place like this, she stood out. I think she'd stand out anywhere. You think something happened to her? She could have taken a new job. Maybe she was sick of Elodin. But if there's even a chance she ran into trouble, I can't stand not knowing. I could track her down for you. Make sure she's okay. Salvager at the Paradise might know something. I would like that. If you find her, will you give her the cryo bracelet? Tell her she can use it to visit me again. Thank you, Pathfinder. Sounds like Helios was an easy choice for you. New galaxy, new life. Not interested in being a merc like my father, or battling it out on Tachanka. I almost didn't want to be packed into cryo for the journey. Wanted to see the whole thing. Would have been pretty lonely. Never be bothered by loneliness. The views would have been worth it. What are you doing up here? Looking. Back home we didn't have time to just stop and look. Is life that different here? It was all about survival. Here we don't have to fight so hard. Of course, the older ones still think they have to fight. Maybe it's just in their blood. They'll come around. You seem... different from the other Krogan. <laughs> My father called me a Salarian in a Krogan body. Supposed to be an insult. Joke's on him, though. I like Salarians. I should get going. Ever think you'd see anything so beautiful? Sometimes I forget to stop and enjoy the view. We could never see the horizon on Tachanka. Too hazy. I should get going. There's more to ever stop barking orders. Shiny, brand new, top of the line salvage right here. Nice weather, isn't it? Too hot. Makes my plate itch. Don't be such a downer. Bit well, look at that. Not one of those damn scavengers, are you? I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. That's worse. Look, you wanna buy? Talk to my seller. I hired him so I don't have to deal with the customers. I hear you woke up on the journey to Helios. That cry wasn't enough to keep me down. Was alone for a hundred years before we reached the cluster. I thought it was fifty years. Fifty, a hundred, it's all the same when you're living on nutrient paste. Bet the scavengers are crawling all over the salvage you pick up. Not too bad. I picked my scrap out in Anoraxia, where squishies like you can't handle the heat. I don't get too close to the flop house. Scavengers gather there like insects. Can't defend my salvage against those numbers. Look at me. I was a warrior, and now I fight vermin over a junk heap. The Nexus is paradise compared to this. You don't want to go back, even a little? So we can be your attack dogs again? Get treated like dirt until we finally fight back? This is no different than the rebellion back home. Only time we get respect is when we take it by force. We were stupid to think it would be any different here. You talk like you saw the rebellions. You can't be as old as Drac. What's that supposed to mean? I was born during the final year, just before the Turians hit us with the genophage. My father died in the fight on Canrum. Took two dozen Turian guns to drop him. I'm glad he didn't live to see us riding in cargo on the Nexus like pets. I should get moving. I'll be here, selling junk. Pathfinder, welcome. You don't welcome an alien into our colony, you ignorant child. Shut up, old man. Sorry about that. Don't mind him. Credits are credits, I say. Your business won't get far if you only sell the Krogan. He's more concerned with proving a point than growing his clientele. Good thing he has me. I'll buy something before he starts yelling again. This automator's crap. It looks like you pulled it from a scrap heap. 
I did. We're not exactly living in an industrial paradise here. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. Outlaw tech, keep your eyes peeled. Ambient temperature is normal. They left a data pad. Life support. Sam, this little mouse, can you get a location on him? I do not have enough information, Pathfinder. But I may be able to track down the scavenger writing these logs. Temperature levels are climbing, Pathfinder. <laughs> 